This is Doogee T30 Pro and today I will show or rather share a few useful tips and tricks for this device. So to start, let's launch settings, then enter the display category and the first feature that I would like to show you is called the dark theme. Once enabled, you can, as you can clearly see, the interface uh, inherits the dark interface mode, so everything is darker, easier on your eyes. It obviously also reduces the power consumption, so by enabling the dark theme, you will not only prevent the eye fatigue, but also you will conserve some of your precious battery life. So if you want to, you can enable this feature. You can also tap over here and set up the automatic schedule for this mode to be automatically enabled and disable that. For example, uh, it is really useful feature once it's dark outside or your ambient lighting is simply insufficient. Usually it happens during the dark hours of the day, so that's why. Anyway, you can set your custom schedule and make it so that at any time the dark theme will be automatically enabled and disabled respectively. The next option you can also find at the same display category of settings. It is called the night light and once enabled, as you can see now, it tends to screen amber, uh, makes the interface colors easier on your eyes. Basically the way it works, it just filters out the excess amounts of blue light. So not only your eyes stay more, uh, I mean, uh, get less tired from looking at the screen for too long, but also, well, in theory, it should help you fall asleep more easily if you use tablet right before going to bed. Uh, once enabled, you can also change the mode intensity and well, it's yellowness, should I say. And you can, as it, as it was with the dark mode, you can set up the automatic schedule for this mode to be automatically enabled and disabled at set times. Moving on, uh, another, I mean, the next feature is performance related. It allows you to boost your system performance. So go into settings once again, find and enter the Dura Speed page and enable this feature. As you can tell from the description, it limits the background app activity. Uh, and boost it this way, boosting the foreground apps. So yeah, if you multitask and you uh, are concerned with your performance being slowed down, you can enable this feature and slightly improve and enhance your tablet performance and productivity. Well, uh, moving on to the last tip that I have for you today, guys, you can also enter it from the settings. It is called memory expansion. And once enabled, it provides you with additional amount of RAM gigabytes anywhere between well, zero and seven gigabytes here, as you can see. Uh, and by enabling it, you are allocating a bit more RAM, virtual RAM for your apps to use. So you can multitask more efficiently. You will be able to use more apps at the same time uh, without hurting the overall system performance. So that's a great feature. I highly recommend that you enable it. Uh, the only Kirk that we have here is that in order for it to take effect once enabled, you need to restart your tablet. So simultaneously press the volume up and power buttons to launch the power off menu and then restart your tablet. So the memory expansion feature will have a chance to be properly applied. And well, that will be it not only for the last tip, but for this video in general. So thanks for watching. Thanks for your attention and bye bye.